When we are using AAA, we have to be able to point to our servers. So let's walk you through the structure of how we do that in a modern config. This might be different than you've set it up before if you have done this. The current syntax follows this structure. You first set up the parameters for your radius servers. And you can see the syntax for that. Radius space server. You get very different behavior if you say radius hyphen server, which is the older syntax. Configuration name, and then you reference the host IP addresses. It's not a challenge here. Address, IPv4, maybe IPv6. Give it a host name, but really this is the IP address that you're going to use. That, that's what to put in here. Are you on the default ports of 1812 and 1813 for authorization and accounting? For authentication and accounting? If you are, then you don't need to specify this. And then specify your key string which is a shared secret key that would be set up between you and the Radius server. Uh, when I say you, the switch in the Radius server. Then you build the AAA construct that can be referenced as a group. So you say AAA group server Radius group name. This is a little unusual. This is different than the older syntax that I learned on. Then you say server name and you reference this config name. Okay, so you weed through that. And then, then you can reference that as one of your methods in a method list. So what's a method list, right? You say, and this is the, the starting point for a method list, AAA authentication login for character mode access to this gear for administrative control. Default says blanket statement, apply to everywhere, VTY, console, aux if you have it, or you could reference it explicitly and override the default method list with a customized list name. But what we're talking about here is referencing a AAA group. So you say group, group name, and that group name is going to point right there. And then often, often we are going to give ourselves a backdoor of local. So build your local user database so you can utilize this feature. And uh, it would only be utilized if we couldn't communicate with the radius server. Now the radius server is at a IP address. If we lose connectivity to that IP address, we would no longer be able to talk and validate that the usernames and passwords are good or not good. So we have to look elsewhere. And if we are looking elsewhere, we go to the next method, which could be radius again, or it could be tacx, or in this case, the local database. By the way, remember, none means allow. If you've specified it, you get to that point, anyone will be allowed.